Brahimi out wide to the right. Who's he going to play in? Looks like a good ball through. Cut out in the nick of time, and the counter is on. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Benatia. Belanda played out to the right. Now the pass. Gulam battles to win it back. Gulam run down the left wing. And is on the back foot. And it's Mores. Tries a through ball. Taken out, that'll be a foul. Gets it upfield. Algeria putting their opponents under a lot of pressure in the early stages. with that tackle, ball one cleanly. Brahimi. Algeria, so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Aimed long and direct. Belanda. Steered out wide. Well read, he sorted that out. Dashing forward at pace. Brahimi passes it through. Has a swing at it! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Morris. A real chance to break. Over to the left. Here's an out wide now. He's left his man. Played into the middle, tries a header! Good delivery, but no joy. Algeria can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Brahimi. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Al Ahmadi spreads it wide. Whipped in. Carries far too far and out of play. Spark this game into life. And it's Slimani. Brahimi. Mares. Brahimi. And Slimani! Just couldn't stay down for him. It's a 
a brilliant interception. Forward it goes. Belanda plays it into the channel. Dulan. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Mares. the whistle, the first half of the final has flown by. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Half time in the final, Jim, how do you read it? Look, this is classic final tension and, and nerves. Um, it's still got time to go from tentative to thrilling, I hope. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half time. So we're already into the second period. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Mares. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Benatia. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Al Ahmadi spreads it towards the left, and it's Amrabat. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Looks to slip it through. Algeria get it back again. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Amrabat goes looking. Well, into the second half, and it's still goalless. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Ah, uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Brahimi. Now it's Slimani. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. And he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. Al Ahmadi. Algeria still have two substitutions up their sleeve. Look forward. What does he try from here? Now it's Slimani. Slimani with the ball through. Mark. Is it in? There are some very good headers of a ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the right delivery to give them a chance to uh, to go at this. Surely, and the finish! Al Ahmadi plays it forward. Belanda tries to get it forward quickly, and it's Belanda. Al Ahmadi, Belanda, with a long pass out wide. He's got options out wide, and the shot. Good movement there, but 
not the best of finishes. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Algeria have decided now is the time to make their final change. Algeria making two changes as we speak. Goulan. Tries a through ball. The clearance and very necessary. Nicely controlled. Out to the left it goes. Puts it into the middle. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Goes out once more. Al Ahmadi. Amrabat. Al Ahmadi. So the final moments of the final and the destiny of the cup still unclear. Concentration levels are very good and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Into the box. Algeria merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. And it's Amrabat. Amrabat plotting from out on the right-hand side. Going through. Amrabat. Here's the chance to cross. Morocco showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Goulam. Bentaleb. Fauzi Goulam. Bentaleb. He's had a go! And the follow-up! Magnificent from Mares! Well, we're sitting here wondering who, if anyone, was going to be able to step up and find a way to go with the clock running down, and the skipper obliges. It should cement victory in what has been a pretty unpredictable affair. Mares was quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. Well, that's not the best attempt by the keeper, and he's just paid the ultimate price, hasn't he? Algeria take the lead, now it's just a question of holding on. Just listen, Peter, you can hear the excitement levels around the stadium now. The feeling is very much job done. And that will be the final act. Algeria, reign in Africa. The culmination of a fabulous tournament. They are fabulous and deserving winners. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment.